In this podcast we are going about the virtual clinical trials. The idea of conducting sightless or virtual clinical trials has been around for some time. However, the industry has recently begun to see the possibility of realizing this approach and the benefits it can bring to patients and sponsors. Virtual trials grab attention from regulatory point of view. Companies must be sure to completely adhere to laws and guidelines requests. In this sense, both the GCPs and the second revision like validation of computerized systems, risk analysis and FDA guidelines were implemented. Virtual clinical trials are a relatively new method of conducting a clinical trial to collect data on the safety and efficacy of a molecule or medical device. These trials take full advantage of technology like apps, monitoring devices, etc., and inclusion platforms like recruitment, informed consent, counseling, measurement of endpoints, and any adverse reactions to allow the patient to be home-based at every stage of clinical trial. By relying on the new possibilities offered by technology, many argue that virtually conducted clinical trials offer an opportunity for a more patient-centered approach. The first partially virtual study dates back to 2001, when Eli Lilly tested his drug to Dalafil to combat erectile dysfunction with asking men, in addition to participating in visits to the centers of reference, to fill out an online questionnaire. After 10 years it is Pfizer's time, which paved the way for the first totally virtual clinical trial. The study was the first randomized clinical trial with recruitment and collection of patient data included via web and smartphones. One of the main objectives was to compare the virtual approach with a conventional phase 4 clinical study to determine if the virtual experimentation project could be a useful model for future studies. Unfortunately, the remote study by sponsor has faced a number of challenges, not least the problem of recruiting patients as most of the members of the target group were elderly, so with limited skill in the use of technology. Probably, as long as the use of technology and in this new way of conducting clinical trials will not capture the trust of patients, the right approach is a step-by-step -step one, in which virtual study is not the only possibility offered, but starts to be presented among the possible options. To learn more about virtual clinical trials log on www.clinindia.com. Thank you.